Hello everybody and welcome once again to Beyond Galactic Science. At the end of the last episode we set up Killer Joe and that's working pretty well. Let's go and have a look at that first of all. I also found a few other things out. Actually, let's have a look at this one. This is a transmit interface. Let's go to the here and right click this to reconfigure. And you'll see if I right click this here now, it says this is point minus 268. If I move forward a bit and right click it, so it's minus four. So let's, for example, let's go back here, right click that, and then uh, we come back and we shall transmit our way to here. It's actually putting myself on the point where I transmitted to. So if I want to be, say, around about here when I transmit, I'm sure it's right. So I can just about reach everything, let's say, like that. So what we then do is we get this to reconfigure mode and right click it. So then whenever we go back and transmit, we go to that point again. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Something new. So anyway, back to what we were going to do, and that was have a look at the zombie spawn. I've turned it off for the time being because it's generating rather a lot of stuff. Let me just double check. Well, actually, that one's on. We turn that one off. And this one's off. So they won't be sporting for the time being. So what I've noticed is that I've moved the um, the vacuum chest to be here and extracting it straight out. So that's got a range of six. And this area is actually slightly bigger than I was expecting it to be. So for example, this is one, two, three, four, five. So it's five to the middle, so isn't it? That's actually four around that center point. And I think that is the range of the spawner. But the Killer Joe doesn't have that range. It has a 4x5. So it basically means, I think it's like from here to there. We could turn it on and find out. Let's do that. See where I get attacked. So I guess I get attacked there. Here I don't get attacked. On this spot. Move one further forward, I get attacked. At the back here, it's the same as true. So it's actually got a range of five. So I think that's about where the spawner is. We're actually on that spot. Oh, do I need to be to the right? Let's go back again. So this is the spawner spot. This is the vacuum chest. And that's one in front of the vacuum chest. Which basically means we, we could have to block up this to be perfect, for everything to work perfectly. But uh, I don't think I want to do that. Oh, but we can quite easily sneak around here and take the sword out. You see, it's already got 59 uh, XP, and I've got 21, so it's good, generated a fair amount of XP. Let's just turn that off again and put the sword back in again. But of course, what we're not doing at the moment is generating swords, and that's the purpose of today's episode. So let's get on and do that. Let's turn it back on again. So let's turn on the spawner and turn on the Killer Joe, and they will spawn away happily and generate a few more, and he will get, they'll get bashed, or they'll die in the sun like one or the other. We don't care. Let's turn this back though quickly. And what I'm going to do here is I've set this up already. So it's basically, it's got wood and it's got a diamond in here. In fact, I've only got 18 diamonds in here, but that'll do for now. Let's just take a few of these out of here. Take half a dozen. Actually, I think I'm actually losing diamonds when I'm doing this, but that's something else. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put a chest up here. Like, I think I want it here. I'm going to work backwards and there's a good reason for working backwards because you don't always want everything get, getting pulled out and processed before you start. So put that one there and then on here I'm going to put a stock module. Where are the stock modules? Here we are. I've already got one. So I'm going to put that into there and what I'm going to say is here I would like to store just one 
diamond sword in the, in the next inventory, which is here. So now we need to make diamond swords. So let's get that set up. So we want to basically process this from here and go out like this and then have one more here. And then we're going to put onto these some one ways to start with. So items can't go back in. So let's have a look at that. I think I want it to be here and here. Now the default direction, I'm actually not 100% sure. I think that's actually the reverse. So let's right click those and turn it that way. And it looks like it's going that, it looks a bit like an arrow. So that's saying it's one way that direction. I actually here I've got a, a one way extractor, but I don't really need that, do I? So let's just take that and swap that out for another one, which is, I think the chest is this one. So we just use this, the plain extractor with two one ways it doesn't make sense does it so we can extract from here but we're not going to do that first we're going to set up the crafting recipes so we've got three crafting recipes we've got one to actually make can i put that nearer here yes yeah, so there's two spaces here so we put one to actually make diamond swords and then we'll put one here to make log uh, from logs to planks and planks to sticks just like that and I'll move those out of the way. So we've got some planks here and we've got some sticks. We don't actually need those. And we've got a log. I'll take one log out of here. So that's 58. And we've got two diamonds in there. I think we'll just increase by one, hasn't it? For that, let's put the six into here. Into here. I know I need one of those, don't I? That for the recipes. So first thing is we want to basically Reduce this down to, which so we shift left click that, no shift right click that, and then left click it. So we want one log here. And that basically gives you four oak planks. The four oak planks we can take out of here, and we can say we want to make sticks. So we'll simply right click those on there, and that will make four sticks, but we only want to have one of each. So we'll set this again to one. And then the, the final crafting recipe is going to be diamond swords. So like that and that. And then we put one of those in here like that. And that will make set 64. We only, again, we only need one. So we shift that down and left click that. We've got one diamond sword. It's going to produce at any one time, which is, which is fine. And that will hold into this chest just one diamond sword. So let's test it. Let's take it so example, put in one diamond sword in here, so it shouldn't make any. I think it does the first time, but we'll see. And as soon as I put this on here, you'll see the items are going across. And for some reason or other, it wanted to pull out of here the wooden planks. Let's fill this in again. <laughs> I think it wanted to make wooden planks. So now, this should have in it two diamonds and should have a stick but because this has got blocked here because of the sticks what I should have done in fact is probably put a filter in here just to say I only want diamonds but maybe another way to do this let's just remove this one again like that is to remove this crafting recipe back here. Let's remove this crafting recipe, which is the one that makes sticks, and put it in, say, here. And remove the, the items that were blocked in there. So, so now, what we should also do is prevent things coming back into here. In fact, let's remove this one. And you'll see that those wooden planks went, then went back in again. That was good. So if I prevent it, things coming back into here like that, then the only thing that can come out of here will be sticks, which we aren't in this chest because we've got just diamonds in here. And diamonds. Now, where is that diamond? Let's can we take those two diamonds out of here so we can. Good. 
Actually, I've got a funny, horrible feeling that they actually took the diamond out. That's why I'm sort of losing diamonds, I think. So that's fine. I'll leave that like that. So this one is now going to craft sticks. And we're going to set that to one. And this one's going to craft diamond swords. And that's set to one. So now we can put the extract module in and see what happens. So planks going that way and look, yeah, that's sort of okay, but not quite what I want, is it? Because you saw all those got taken out of here. Um, let's put actually, let's fill this in like this. Those planks, I really want those not to go down through here, do I? Because that's then blocking this. So it's got lots of blocked logs. But it doesn't really matter that much. And it's got a diamond sword in here. And it should have one diamond sword in here. Which is great. So if we put these diamonds back into here. Seven. Oh, I haven't lost any diamonds. It should stay. So really what I want to do is now is to filter that. Saying, actually you can't filter it that easily. Maybe what I'm doing is, is using a bad filler. Let's use a different filler. Um, first of all, we'll remove the extractor here. Oh, I didn't change that either. So let's remove that lot and then use a different filler. Because obviously cobblestone is not going to be used. So then I can basically free up this lot by simply left clicking here. You'll see it put into me 61 oak planks. That's quite a lot, or just about six. Maybe not so many, actually. So now when we put this back in again, it shouldn't do anything until we remove one of these diamond axes. So let's remove a diamond, diamond sword, I mean. Let's see what happens. It should produce one unless I've got things the wrong way around. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And I haven't got a diamond sword in here. So it should store one diamond sword. Sometimes this doesn't work as I expect it to do. Put that log in there. Put the diamond in there. Maybe we have to take this off here again. And put it back again. Let me put this one back actually. Well, so now what's going wrong? Let's take some logs out. Of, can I take those logs out of there? I can't, can I? I can't take the sticks out of there either. I can't take the dams out of there. Sometimes it behaves not as expected. Let's just remove this item out of here like that. So now it should extract. We should have one diamond sword in here. We haven't. Well, that's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? So let's remove. Refine relocation doesn't always work as expected, I think, unless I've got it completely wrong. So it should extract items out of here. Let's remove. See, that was a stack size. So let's remove that one and put in the ordinary one. That doesn't seem to affect anything at all. Because the idea was what I didn't want to happen. Let's remove this again. Yeah, let me put this one, say, here. Because what I didn't want is things to come back down through here but we can remove this one put that one in so it should extract don't ask me why it's not doing unless something's blocked up that shouldn't be blocked up so we have to start again let's remove this crafting one put it back in again and then take a log like that 
And then we tell it to make logs. So we first of all reduce this down to one. Put one in. So that'll make planks. Next one, let's remove this out of the way. Ah, oh, you see, then I saw things going into there. And then put this back in again. It's not got a crafting recipe in here at the moment, so we'll make a crafting recipe again. We'll put this down to one first and put in one of each of these. See, now it's actually made four and got blocked. In fact, I've got a feeling I know what the problem is. This is the problem here. I've got it in the wrong place, which of course is what I was expecting it to do in the first place, but let me try this one. Let's put that in there and then do it again. Now it wants to make 64. We don't want to make it 64, which want one like that. And that'll hold one log, but that's not going to work because it's got, let's try that. Now it's made a button. Now it's made some sticks. Let's remove those out of the way. So we should have a button, which we have, yes. And then this last one should craft diamonds. Let's have a look. There's also a blockage here as well. You can see it goes red. So that's got the, I've just got no diamonds in here yet. Now here come the diamonds. That's dicks. Four diamonds in there and one diamond sword. But you see this is actually still blocked. This is probably blocked with something it shouldn't be blocked with, I think. Let's remove it. What did I pick up? Probably sticks. We've only got two diamonds in there. Let's just take another di two diamonds out of here. Put those into here and double check it now. It's always a bit of a game. See, it came on straight away. And the stock module should have another one in it, I think. Looks like we've got, that's it, block, no diamonds. But we've still got the four diamonds in there. This is sticks, but this is something in here that shouldn't be blocking in here. Tell you what we'll do. I'll remove this one. First of all, we'll remove, yes, we'll remove this one. Left click that to remove whatever it was. sticks was in there, wasn't it? And we'll put this into here directly, to this place. I don't think it makes a difference, but it looks like it might be. So this is the one to craft axes. Of course, it's picking up 64. I should have done that first of all. Remove those two. Like that. And then it should just get one of each. In fact, you just saw some wood go through. And there you've got now one of each. That's good. And then we need some diamonds. Oh, clear me. How to make diamond swords. Not like that, but like that. Now it says it's locked, it's, it's over full. I don't think that actually matters. Let's put that back up there. And you'll see that two just disappeared through there. We still got our diamond sword again. So, it's a bit tricky sometimes and that wasn't the best demo. And another one's just gone through there. I have got this set to one, that's fine. So it's basically, I probably can take the diamond sword out of here and put that back into here, like that. But you'll see it only keeps one in here anyway, so that's pretty good. So what I can do with these is put those there, and then what we can do with that, we can take this now and make a roundel here. Left click that, I'm getting actually good at that now. Not right clicking it as I used to do. Putting that in there, so we now need an item interface. Okay, oh, that's energy, isn't it? So it'll be in here, I guess. And an item duct. We, need, we only need one because I'm placing them carefully. 
that we'll put one on here like that I can reach oh I can reach like that of course in fact use the right thing I'll move that out to there and put the item duct on here so I have to shift I should put it on like just and I have to shift click it on there so now we can extract everything and we can simply all we need to do is to tell this to be always active and then we can tell this here to go in the right direction so we want this one to be insert mode and that's it so actually all those axes have disappeared somewhere i have got a horrible feeling they're all coming in to one of these chests in fact they should if they're coming anywhere they should come in here But maybe let's go and have a look at the mobs. There is a zombie jumping up and down. I'm hoping that they've come into here, but they haven't. Look at that. Right. Let's quickly go back and actually get a sword. I don't know where the swords are disappearing to at the moment. It's tricky sometimes. Oh, I've got the ender here. Maybe they're en route. It does sometimes take a few minutes before things actually settle down. But well, they're so far not coming. So what we'll do is we'll turn that off. Just get rid of these zombies and take the sword out again. And hopefully if we put it on that will come be refreshed. I just having a think the only other place we need swords was with the um animals in here. And if I just go downstairs here like this. Tell me how he got through that, I have no idea. And swords will be... Actually, they've been taken out of here, aren't they? I haven't set that up yet to pull them from the top. Hmm. Look at this. Somebody... I would love to know how the animal's are actually getting out of here. But anyway. I'm still picking up bits. Let's just get the. I think they're in here now. Got two golden lassoes. There is another way to make nutrient, and it might be a better way to do it. The other way to make nutrient is using nether wart and zombie and rotting flesh. So you can go in there and. So can you. Just wondering if that was the, the cause of why they're jumping out. I mean, they can't be getting underneath like that, can they? No. So. The other problem I had was in here. I wasn't getting any wood. I wasn't getting any oak wood. And what was going on here is I set it up slightly incorrectly. I bet you got this one here, and I put this on the brown channel, extracting items out. And, but I, yes, and I didn't put it, and I've changed it to the blue channel. And what was happening is those items are coming into here, like they are at the moment. These are actually getting not picked up from the farm itself, I don't think. These are getting picked up from the other choppers. So maybe the best solution to this is to actually put filters on here. So if we right click that, we can push the items that we don't want into here and everything will then get pulled back into the actual main area. You can do that with everything actually, including leather and, uh, and beef, raw beef. So we can actually remove this out of here as well. 
Well, they don't generally don't come into there. So over but over a period of time, the other choppers are chopping down the oak tree. So maybe the best thing to do is to put two filters in here and change it back again. I think I've got those already set up actually. So if we come here, and say out of this one, we only want to extract. Let's have a look. Insert mode. Yes, we only want to insert trees, wood and apples. We change this back as you go to the brown channel here. So then we're coming out here and we're only what we don't want it. We want to blacklist these from being inserted. So let's blacklist these. This time it's whitelisted. Let's blacklist those. Let's check I didn't put them in the wrong way around. Uh, yes, I did. That's whitelisting. So these are white. This is only those can go down through this exit here, and then we just need to come along here and then change the extract here to being brown, and then it should work properly. So the only thing that can come, these can't come into here. So the only thing that can come into here, therefore, are the um, saplings and the wood birch wood. That's it. That should keep it a bit cleaner. But before this was getting full with um, birch, because this chopper was chopping down some of the birch trees as well. So it's interesting. And now these are actually, you see, these are working fine. It actually does get blocked quite often, but it keeps up quite happily producing wood. What I don't like is picking up all these saplings all the time. Let's put those back in there. That's got to void upgrade, so they disappear, and then we'll just transmit our way out of here so we don't pick everything up. So that's another interesting problem we've dealt, sorted out today. Hopefully, see that chest is now empty. So this the problem is here, this is now filled up with wood, and I want it to be filled up with diamonds. So I suppose the best way to deal with that is to use a, a separate chest Maybe a separate chest is best, and set a filter on it. But unfortunately, we could use mini chests, and then have to uh, have a filter for one with one side for filtering to diamonds, the other side. To that. that might be the best way to do it. Then I'll just move these chests out of the way here. I'll do that between episodes, and we'll have a look at how that works next time. At the moment, it's a bit of, a bit strange what's going on with the where the diamonds have gone, where the diamond swords have gone to. Let's see if we can find them again. They should be here because I've got an extract filter on here to extract diamond swords. But there is no sword in there. If I look down here. On this one, you see we have an extract white listing diamond swords. I don't think they could go anywhere else. Let's just turn this off. Oh, it won't make it matter because it's got no sword in it, will it? So that doesn't have any, it has an extract item duct coming from here. What we could do, of course, is to change this filter here. So let's do let's do that actually. Let's remove this filter from here, the extracting, and put onto here onto the inserting of this one. Well, I think I can reach it from down here like this. If not, I can do it the other way. And I said this has actually got a priority of three, so it should insert at the higher priority. So that's always active extracting the colors don't actually matter in this case because it's the only one but because i was trying other things out i got it to different colors of course this is still full of nutrient that's that's excellent so i don't yet know where the swords have gone to so i shall wait and hopefully over a period of time we might get a sword in here so that's changed color now to diamond it was a gold sword before wasn't it so I'll wait, see if we get the swords coming in. And in the meantime, I'm trying to think of where else it, it they could have disappeared to. 
the most normal the, well the place that's got no filters on is here as in this in this one here, there's no filters just extracts everything and then those that should go into these chests that's the the base chest where this is the chest where everything else goes into we've got chests for different mods basically these ones that's the canal element So, so I'm getting a lot of rotting flesh too. So that's also could be a better source. As I said before, I did actually put it in here, some diamond swords, but they just that's just an extract. Hmm. Well. I shall have to go do a lot of hunting between episodes. So hopefully I can find them. <laughs> you see. I have, I have no idea where they are for the time being. So until then I'm going to say bye for now and see you next time.